Consider this. What happens when the age-old quest for the moon becomes a race for water? Welcome to the 21 Saint Century Lunar Race, a global competition not just for space supremacy, but for the potential of finding water on the moon. The lunar landscape, once considered barren and desolate, is now the object of fascination for space agencies worldwide. There's a growing consensus that the moon's south pole may hold billions of gallons of water. This is a game-changer, as water could dramatically reduce mission costs by providing hydration, oxygen and even rocket fuel. NASA and the European Space Agency, or ESA, are among the key players vying to land on the southern hemisphere of the moon in search of this precious resource. NASA plans to establish a permanent presence on the moon's south pole, using the Lunar Gateway Space Station as a launching pad. They aim to land on the South Pole region by 2026. The ESA, on the other hand, plans to launch its Airline 6 rocket to the moon in mid-2024. However, the United States and Europe are not alone in their lunar ambitions. Russia, China, India and Japan also have plans to send astronauts to the southern region of the moon by 2026. In particular, China's accelerated efforts have caught the world's attention. China aims to land astronauts on the moon by 2030 and plans to establish a lunar base by 2050. The stakes are high, and the race is on. However, the lunar race is not just about being the first to find water or establish a base. The first countries on the moon may set precedents for lunar mining and safety protocols. This could significantly influence the future of space exploration and the potential growth of a cislunar economy, where companies profit from activities in and around the moon. Now let's not forget that the lunar race is also a testament to human innovation and resilience. The Artemis program, NASA's ambitious initiative to return humans to the moon, has survived two successive U.S. presidents and is our best chance of returning humans to the lunar surface. Despite delays and technical difficulties, the dream of setting foot on the moon once again lives on. In summary, the lunar race is no longer just about planting a flag or leaving a footprint. It's about harnessing the moon's resources particularly the potential water reserves on the lunar south pole. It's about establishing a permanent human presence beyond our home planet, and most importantly, it's about advancing our understanding of the universe. As of now, the race is far from over. Every nation is gearing up, each with their unique plans and timelines. But one thing is certain. The moon, our closest celestial neighbor, is about to get a lot more crowded. So as we look up at the night sky, Let's remember that the moon is no longer just a symbol of wonder and mystery. It's the next frontier, the next battleground, the next stepping stone in our journey through the cosmos.